Welcome aboard Ocean Explorers. Today we're diving into an exciting new expedition with the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. Get ready to discover the secrets of the deep blue sea through the collaboration of cutting edge technology and teams. On October 1st, the team set sail from Honolulu aboard the Nautilus, a state-of-the-art research vessel to explore the geologist's seamounts. But what makes this expedition so special? The ship is currently 60 miles southwest of the Big Island, hovering over McCall Seamount. Seamounts are really, really interesting because they interrupt the flow of ocean currents and aggregate biology to those changes. And so we've got three autonomous systems on board for this expedition to explore the changes in the midwater. So the autonomous systems we have on board come from three different partners in the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute. Mesobot is brought to us by our good friends at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. The Deep Autonomous Profiler is from Chris Roman's lab at the University of Rhode Island. And Drix, the autonomous surface vessel, is from the Center for Coastal Ocean Mapping at the University of New Hampshire. So I want to take a minute and introduce you to Drix. Drix is an autonomous surface vessel, seven meters long. It's capable of 10 knots. Its primary purpose is a mapping platform. On this expedition, not only will it provide mapping, but also a communications relay to the other autonomous systems that we'll be deploying. Next, we have the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution's Hybrid Remotely Operated Vehicle, or HROV, called Mesobot. Hey, I want to introduce you to Mesobot from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. This is a purpose-built autonomous underwater vehicle to explore the midwater. It's full of all kinds of unique sensors from an environmental DNA sampler to high-end camera systems. One of the nice things about Mesobot, it is very quiet and very stealthy, not to disturb the biology that it's sampling or imaging. It is our primary midwater exploration tool on this expedition. And last but not least, we have the University of Rhode Island's Deep Autonomous Profiler, Lander. This behemoth behind me is the Deep Autonomous Profiler. It's an autonomous lander developed at the University of Rhode Island. It's rated to full ocean depth, so 10,000 meters. But unlike the other platforms, this has no way to control its movements. It's driven by gravity to the seafloor, and then when queued or the timer expires, it floats back to the surface. It has a number of sampling capabilities. For this expedition, we'll be relying on the environmental DNA sampler and these 24 Niskin bottles to sample the water throughout the water column. We plan to deploy the DAP for up to 24 hours. The beauty of this is with the beacon on board, we can track its position, communicate its health and status, and integrate it with the three other autonomous systems that we have on board to understand a full picture of the water column. But the magic doesn't stop there. While these incredible technologies are hard at work, the Nautilus itself is another crucial piece of technology that makes it all possible. It serves as a communication hub for all the data each robot is generating and collects its own valuable information along the way. So this is the Nautilus control room where data and information from our robots and the ship come together so that our scientists and engineers can review our progress on this project. Nautilus has its own instruments, including a deep water multi-beam, mid-water multi-beam, and underwater communications that work in parallel with the robots to collect data to paint a picture of the deep sea all the way to the surface. Our work isn't just about scientists exploring. Ocean Exploration Trust and the Cooperative Institute want everyone to join the adventure. We live stream directly from the back deck and control room so you can follow our journey and learn about the ocean in real time on our website, nautiluslive.org. So young explorers, whether you dream of becoming a scientist, a roboticist, an engineer, a captain, a member of the ship's crew, or you just want to understand and care for the planet, remember that the ocean is an incredible place full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered and that there are countless ways to get involved. Thanks to the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute and the remarkable capabilities of these technologies, the future of ocean exploration is brighter than ever.